What tools do you need when building a basic model rocket? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Occasionally we get the question of what do I need when I'm building a skill level one rocket? Well, a skill level one rocket is your basic rocket, your entry level rocket. I mean, we sell a number of them here at Apogee Components. We have the Apprentice and we have our favorite, the Avion. We also have something like the Habu, which is also a skill level one rocket. Now, skill level one can mean building a rocket like the Apprentice, which has plastic fins, which is like the easiest rocket to build. But we like to start people out with something like the Avion because the skills you learn building this one are readily transferable to the skill level two and three and four and five level rockets. So you'll progress a little bit faster if you would like to go with something like this. And the reason we use this or the Habu is because it has balsa wood fins. And so that requires some special tools. And so the beginning tool that you're gonna need is a hobby knife. We have them here at Apogee Components. In fact, with your first order of $50 or more, we actually give you a hobby knife to get you started quickly. The hobby knife has a blade and it's very sharp, so you have to be careful with it, particularly around younger children, but it's gonna be used for so many things. You know, you're gonna be using it for like cutting fins out of the balsa wood. You're gonna be using it for like cutting shot cord, cutting parachutes. They're in a plastic and so you just zip around the edges really quick with a knife. So that's why you would use a knife in rocketry. You can also use it for scraping or for carving. It's a general all-purpose tool and you're going to need it for every rocket you ever build. So go out and get yourself a hobby knife quick. Another tool you're going to need is the ruler because you're going to be measuring things. You know, the instructions might say make a mark on your tube three inches from one end. You know, so a ruler is really handy. We like rulers with a metal edge because it keeps nice and straight, particularly if, if you're cutting out fins or cutting parachutes out. This is really handy. And when you are marking things, we recommend using a pencil, not a pen but a pencil. And the reason we recommend the pencil is the ink in a pen can be dissolved with solvents. And where are the solvents? Well, there's a lot of solvents in paint. So the paint will dissolve the ink and then the ink floats up to the surface and it ruins your paint. You don't get that with a pencil. So we always recommend using a pencil whenever possible. Another tool you're gonna need is the scissors because again, cutting things like shot cord or the parachutes out of the rocket, you're gonna be using a scissors. Another tool that we recommend a lot, you're gonna need sandpaper and you're also gonna need a sanding block. We sell a sanding tee and we like this because it's metal, nice and straight. It has a straight edge on it if you need it. And then to use it, you can just simply take the sandpaper, wrap it around and just kind of hold it like that and do your sanding. And then to change different grits, you can just swap it out really quick. And speaking of grits, we recommend three types of grit. You have a really rough grit like this. This is a 60 grit. Then something in the middle like a 180 or a 120. And then a fine grit like 320 or higher. The higher the number, the smoother the surface is. So you'll use rough grit for, you know, shaping. And then medium grit for, you know, initial sanding and then the fine grit for the final sanding. And then you can also use wet dry grit, but typically in a level one kit, you wouldn't use that. We also like to have aluminum angle. You can use the sanding tee because it has the angle built right in. And this is useful for putting it along a body tube and then just drawing a line down the tube because it you know, guides your pencil and gives you a nice straight line along the tube. You're also going to need a paintbrush for painting. And speaking of paint, we've got paint and you can use any paint you want. But you're also probably going to want to use some sanding primer. Make sure if you buy it, get the fillable or sandable primer because this allows you to get the best surface finish. For a skill level one kit, for you just starting out, maybe just paint. But as you progress, the next step up is to sand the rockets before you paint them. And when you do that, you're going to need a sandable primer. 
a wood dowel. We use a wood dowel to spread glue around. So there's going to be a ring inside the tube and we will put glue on the end of the dowel and then smear it around on the inside of the tube. So you can get pretty far into the tube depending on where that ring is going to go by using a wood dowel. If you don't have a dowel, the end of a paintbrush will use and if you watch my videos a lot, I'll use the back end of my hobby knife as a dowel to spread glue around. It all works. Don't worry about it. We'll also need some masking tape, just your generic tape for a skill level one rocket. The blue tape, the difference between regular masking tape and the blue tape is the blue tape has a little bit less adhesive on it. So it's meant for ripping off really quick without yanking the paint off underneath. But you can get away with the regular masking tape. Don't worry about them for skill level one rocket. We're also going to need glue and uh, we like to use wood glue. Once it dries, it's more water resistant and moisture resistant than regular white glue like school glue. School glue is very non-toxic. This is kind of like that next step up. I would, nobody's been eating glue, but the wood glue is readily obtainable. Just you can get it at Home Depot and Lowe's and all your stores will carry wood glue. Now there's one type of glue on some kits you might need, and that is either plastic model cement or super glue. This is a medium viscosity, which means it's kind of like syrup. So as you pour it out, it will run, but it stays in place most of the time. And typically this is used for gluing plastic parts together. Plastic model cement does the same. The drawback of plastic model cement is it's not as easily found as super glue, but you know, super glue can be used for so many different things. And, you know, quick repairs on the field. You have to watch out for super glue though, because it will bond skin instantly. And when it bonds skin, it's an exothermic reaction, which means it gives off heat. And so once you get it on your skin, you'll notice it because it will start heating up on you. There's different viscosities for skill level one. We like the medium. There's also an extra thick for those people that don't like the runniness of the medium. And then there's the water thin variety. Now, I, when I say water thin, everybody thinks you thin it out with water. You don't thin out super glue with anything. It's thin like water. And the advantage of that is it will penetrate deep into crevices. The disadvantage is it runs really fast. So if you put something on your rocket, it's just gonna you know, run like water. So medium for skill level one. I prefer the thin. If you get tight joints, you only need a little bit and it saves money. I think that covers all the basic tools that you will need for a skill level one kit. We'll try to make a video for the next skill level, what additional tools you might need for like a skill level two. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.